McCain has been complaining that he isn't getting any attention from the media. And unfortunately, now he's not even getting any attention from his own political ads that he is paying for. <laughs> in fact, the last eight of his ten ads have barely featured him at all. He can't even get into his own commercials. And when he does, <laughs> he's just weird. One of his recent slogans was, an American president for America. And setting aside the slightly worrying undertone to that, <laughs> also, that, that isn't a proposal, that's just the Constitution. <laughs> you have to be American. It's the one thing holding me back from taking my rightful seat in the White House. <laughs> I'll, ne- I'll never be president, Andy. It kills me to say that, and even well, I'll never be queen either. And don't try to placate me by saying that I could be king. I don't want to be king. I want to be queen. <laughs> But we're not so familiar with attack ads in Britain, John. I thought I was watching an attack ad against Gordon Brown the other day, but it turned out it was just the news. Um, <laughs> but I think maybe it's time for us to try and launch the attack ads to a uh, British audience. So uh, I've actually written an attack ad about you, John. I oh, think yeah? It's about, give, about... give me your best shot. All right. Well, uh, well here it is. <laughs> John Oliver is the real Richard Nixon, but more so... He's a man who comes from the same continent as Spanish dictator Franco. He's a man who may never have shoved an old woman into the path of a train, but he has certainly never stopped an old woman being shoved in front of a train. He's a man who shamelessly urinates at least three times a week and revels in eating the flesh of dead animals, sometimes in sandwiches, and this is the worst part, sometimes not. This is the man in whose lifetime more than one billion people have died. (laughs) <laughs> John Oliver has never publicly expressed his opinion to the compulsory execution of all women who frown in public, and who, despite having had ample opportunity over the years, has never ruled out releasing nerve gas during the Super Bowl. And even worse, John Oliver was once a member of the British National Youth Theatre. Is this the kind of man you want presenting the bugle? You might as well get Paul Pot to record a podcast about hedge trimming. Take that, John. Oh, really? Take that. Oh, yeah. well, uh, I mean, I, ju- I just wish that I'd prepared an attack ad in response of my own, Andy. Hit right. it! Andy Zaltzman. Andy Zaltzman, if that is his real name, chooses to live in London, England, the very place where just 160 short years ago the Communist Manifesto was written. <coughs> Coincidence? Impossible. When he isn't plotting the destruction of the bourgeoisie, he's lasciviously fantasising about Florence Nightingale. Family man, Mr Zaltzman? Or Crimean warfare fetishist? Plus, can you really trust a man who so irresponsibly lost his own bin? Andy Zaltzman. Careless with bins, careless with our lives. I'm John Oliver and I approve this message. Well, we're both looking in trouble here. (laughs) Next week's Bugle could feature neither of us.